How many credibility points do you think you have? It's the career game. We're gathering the points and I'm gonna show you how. So there are tons and tons of ways that you can build credibility points up. Our next blog, I'm going to talk to you all about doubt points, right? So you might have a few doubt points already, but we can get rid of them. That's okay by building up your credibility points. So that's what I want you to concentrate on. By playing the career game, it's all about building credibility points. Now, sometimes you're going to build doubt points and we're going to talk about them in the next video. You might build them accidentally. You won't really know if you've built them sometimes. But what you want to do is have enough credibility points in your career gain bank account that it won't actually matter that you've got a couple of doubt points there. All right, so how do you go about getting these credibility points so that you can win the game, you can be successful? Now remember, I told you this is all about your career management. If you just want a job, you know, forget the game, whatever, don't play it. If you want a successful career, if you want to be that top leader one day, then you have to play the game. That's the reality. I'm sorry to say. Don't let people tell you that you don't have to play the game. The people that are telling you that is because they're not playing and they're not winning, they're not succeeding. Don't listen to them. All right, so let's get those credibility points and let's win this game. Okay, so where do you get credibility points from? Well, there's a number of ways that you can get them. Okay, so one, I'm going to talk to you about your online presence. You want to have a really strong online presence. Gone are the days of just having a paper-based resume to show the world what you were all about. Gone are the days of just doing a good job at work to show your bosses what you're all about. It's way more holistic than that nowadays. It's way more about who you are inside and outside of work. People really wanna know who you are and how you're managing your career. People wanna see your ambition. They wanna see your potential. And you know what? They wanna see that you give a damn about your career and your profession. Because if you give a damn about your career and your profession, then they know that you're gonna give a damn about their business. So, you need credibility points. Online presence is a really great way of building heaps and heaps of credibility points really, really easily. So the first place you wanna start is on LinkedIn. You wanna have a really great LinkedIn profile. You wanna have specific things on your LinkedIn that shows what kind of person you are, what kind of professional you are, what kind of business person you are. You wanna show all of the amazing things that you have done already and the amazing things you can do. Because what you wanna do is you wanna to appeal to people for your future job, not just your current one, not just your past ones. A lot of LinkedIn profiles I see right now are almost read like a, a resume, so they reflect on what's actually happened in the past. What you wanna do is have stuff that shows what you're doing now and what you're doing into the future as well. So there's a great thing on LinkedIn called projects. You can add certain things about what you're working on right now. Because what that does is when people look at it, they look at the current things that you're working on, and if they're really interesting, then that adds credibility to you. It shows you're proud of the work that you're doing. Having a great LinkedIn summary of who you are now and who you are going to be shows that you're passionate about your career and you're passionate about your, pres your profession. That you're passionate about your future and that you're going places. That adds credibility. Having some jobs on there and achievements that adds credibility. So don't just have your job on there and say, blah, 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 this is what I did in my job. Say, this is what I achieved. That's a great way of building credibility. Some other ways of building credibility 
is to speak at conferences. Now, not everybody's going to get an opportunity to do that, but you might get an opportunity to speak at a forum or a meeting or a luncheon or a breakfast or the meeting that's happening next week or the executive meeting or whatever it might be. Any opportunity you get to put yourself in front of a group of people to talk about what you love, to talk about the things that you're really good at, adds credibility. And then you add it onto your LinkedIn profile, you add it onto your online presence. The other things you want to do is manage everything online, okay? So have a look at your Facebook account as well. Make sure that your privacy settings are right. We'll talk about that a little bit in the doubt stuff. But credibility-wise, you want to look professional. You want to look credible. So other things that you can do to start building credibility points is getting really good references from other people. And I'm not talking about the references that you put on the bottom of your resume when you're applying for a job. What I'm talking about is people actually talking about you and your work. So if you go into a room and people go, oh, I know that person, you know, Michelle, she's amazing. She's really great at career um, planning and she's really great at helping young leaders move through their career and blah, 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 whatever it might be. Um, that's what people say about me, of course. Oh. <laughs> but what you want to know is what are they saying about you? Yeah? You want them to say really, really great things about you. So you want people to know what you do as well. And the way you do that is by getting on project teams, doing a really great job, working as hard as you can in things that are going to grow your career. If you're just doing the job that you are paid for, and you do it really, really well, that's awesome. That's, you know, super, absolutely. You're getting paid for it and you have to do a good job at that. That will add credibility points, absolutely. Doing a project that steps you into the next level without you asking for a pay rise for it, oh my goodness, the amount of people I've seen that, you know, take on a learning opportunity and then go, ooh, I should get paid for this learning opportunity now. I should get a pay rise. No, you shouldn't. You should take that learning opportunity for what it's worth and you should be grateful for that learning opportunity because that's going to take you into your future career as long as you don't start whinging about money. As soon as you start whinging about oh, well, going into doubt points, we'll talk about them later. You want credibility. You want to take on those projects. You want to make sure that people know that you're the person, you're the go-to person, you're the one that's going to get the job done, you're the one that's going places. That's what credibility points is all about. So get out there, look at your online presence, check out what you're doing, check out what people are saying about you, make sure that you're moving to the next level, make sure you're collecting credibility points everywhere you go. It's all about your brand, your career brand, what you are all about. And really, credibility points, what they do is they say to that next employer or they say to that you, that, that higher up leader, you're the person for the job. You're the person that I want leading my next team. You're the person I want leading my next project. So get on it, make sure you're collecting those credibility points and not the doubt points that we're going to talk about in the next blog. My name is Michelle Holland. Stay inspiring.